Hi guys, welcome back to Comageddon TV where all geek culture collides. Today on our pop review, we're going to be taking a look at the pop movies number six, Gremlins vinyl figure. <laughs> Alright, as I said, this is the Pop Movies Gremlins vinyl figure. Uh, Pop Movies number six, Gremlins. Uh, they did not leave, they did not put the name of the vinyl figure on the box. So. Uh, as you can see, this is Stripe, uh, but they just left it very generic. Uh, Gremlins vinyl figure. Uh, very nice woodwork border there. Got the Gremlins logo. You got a stripe right here on the front. Nice little window box as usual from uh, Funko Pop. Nice little wood grain finish there. Collect the entire line of Funko Pop movie super stylized vinyl figures. They'll thrill you. Distributed by Funko, www.funko.com. WB Gremlins and all related characters and elements are trademark of and copyright Warner Brothers Entertainment Inc. WB Shield trademarked and copyright Warner Brothers Entertainment Inc. I'm guessing this means for ages five and up. <laughs> all right. We'll be right back. We're going to open this guy up. We're going to take a look at him. As you guys can tell there, uh, he is slightly off balance. He doesn't stand too terribly well. Uh, he probably should have came with a display base. Um, but yeah, I had him here on my turntable. And he stood okay for a little while. But then once it completes that first rotation, uh, he kind of just topples over. See? So that's not good. They really should have included its display base. And before you guys say anything, here's the uh, clamshell. There is no place for a display base. <clears throat> and there was not one included in the box. So, now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and we'll have to kind of lean him up against there. See how tall this guy is. He is just about four inches tall. Maybe a little bit under. And that's compared with... Harley Quinn, pretty close to the same size. So, this is a pretty good likeness of Stripe. I always called him Spike for the longest time, uh, as a kid anyway. But his name is Stripe. And as you can tell with most Funko Pops, his head does spin all the way around. He has a nice white mohawk there this is from the first gremlins movie since with gremlins 2 he had more of the uh prongs more like a liberty spike type uh mohawk going down the paint job isn't too bad there are a few smudge marks quality control issues but with this type of funko actually adds character to it they did raise the uh eyes up the eyelids and the eyebrows up off the uh, pop 
And this one, unlike so many of the others, does actually have a mouth. Not really sure why they squared off his tail. Because it should really come to a point. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. Why they designed it like that. Still not too bad. I just really wish they would have included a display base with this guy. Um, however, I am an in-the-box collector. So it's going to go back in the box and displayed like that. But it just, it would have been really nice to be able to film this with him on the turntable. But as I said, as soon as he, right before he completes the first uh, rotation, he topples over. Oh wow, he actually made it that time. Gremlins is an American comedic horror film, which came out in 1984, the year after I was born. It was directed by Joe Dante and released by Warner Brothers. Steven Spielberg was the executive producer on the uh, movie. And I have to say, this was one of my all-time favorite cult classic films. The first one was more horror than the second one. The second one was more comedy. Uh, however, both of them, in my opinion, are equally good. I remember when the trailer for the uh, second one first came out, my cousin and I would uh, discuss it back and forth for hours on end. We just, the trailer seemed so awesome. It was cool to see a spider gremlin and a bat gremlin, and it just amazing. And the first one, I remember watching it. Um, on TV, I think it was on ABC or something like that. But I remember it just grabbed my attention because it was just so n somewhat funny. But it was, like I said, the first one is more horror than comedy. But as you can see there, there is some uh, paint smudging. Um, but like I said, with these gremlin. With, at least with this gremlin uh, final figure, it actually kind of adds to it rather than takes away with takes away from it like with some of the other uh, Funko Pops. Do you really like how they uh, carved the chest scales in there? You got some paint bleeding on the uh, fingernails or claws should say but overall not a bad pop um, I'm kind of up in the air on this because number one first thing the balance issues balance for out-of-the-box collectors I would not recommend this uh, pop uh, because you're just going to have to lean him up against the wall. Not really much else you can do. Because he will topple over. Um, now for in the box displays. As I showed you guys before. It, it's just. It's somewhat generic. You know you got the Gremlins logo up here. But Gremlins vinyl figure. That's uh. They, they should have at least put stripe on there. Instead of just gremlins vinyl figure put stripe vinyl figure uh, but overall the box is pretty nice uh, this is definitely an in the box display as I said um, but overall not a bad vinyl figure uh, they do really need to double check they really need to do something about quality control uh, this is not the first pop I've had where where the paint was let off like see on the eyes there that kind of takes away from it uh, other smudge marks like on the skin and everything I can deal with but like there on the ears and around the eyes and then like the claws those are some of the places that you don't want 
your uh, pop to have paint bleeding or smudges or whatever. It just it takes away from the quality. Uh, other places like the stripes on his uh, skin or whatever, I could see the smudges. It, it adds to the character. But not on places where the paint is supposed to be sharp. You know, along the edges of the eyes, along the ears, and the claws. Three places you really want to have that quality control. And then, you know, you got the hair, the white, bleeding off onto the skin there. That's, okay, four. Four places. So there you have it, guys. On this week's October pop review, pop movies, number six, Gremlins, vinyl figure. Have a happy Halloween, guys. Join us next week when I review the pop movies, Halloween, number three, Michael Myers. <laughs>